scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Imagine that your openness now begins to cover all those deficiencies. Then you will produce the Lamb's wife, the bride, equal in length, equal in depth, equal in height. This is why your dear pastor, by the privilege of God's grace, brought me here. Because he discerned a supply of that grace that is able to do something to a person and a city. Let me tell you this. Sometimes I wish I'm not the one carrying the anointing I have. So that it will make you see that it's not about me. It's a difficult thing when you carry certain graces because you are easily misunderstood. The way people honor you sometimes can be annoying. What is there about you? I'm a product of many graces. I was going to go to the U.S. from years ago to meet the great evangelist Charles and Francis Hunter. These were great evangelists, the last of the dispensation of the generals still alive. I wanted to go and meet them. Do you know what I wanted to do? To scrub their toilets for two weeks. I wanted to just go and work for them and serve them. My ticket, my hotel, my visa, as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, I was going to work, not to preach with them in a conference. When they died, I cried. I said, God, why didn't you give me a chance? My greatly referred mentor, Dr. Miles Mono, I was to meet with him a few months. I was in worry for a conference. And that morning, I felt a physical pain on my chest. I knew something had happened. By 5 a.m. that morning, they told me that man had gone to be with the Lord. I cried like a baby in that room. And I said, oh God, you would have given me the opportunity to tell this man how great he influenced my life. When I started out in ministry, I wrote a letter to many Jews and many men of God. I'm not even sure it reached. You know how we are, men of God. Everybody aware, I don't have time. Miles Munro got my letter and replied me handwritten. Handwritten. The largest ministry in the Bahamas, an advisor to 17 presidents, a custodian of 46 bestseller books wrote and written and encouraged me and told me that he believed in me and that God would use me. It pained my heart. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never set Pastor, do you know what happened today? You know, after the service in the morning, Pastor took me to one of his sons, a, a real estate uh, person doing an amazing work. So we went on sightseeing just to look at the place and then so that I speak over it. Do you know there was one man there 
He used to be my pastor in Plateau Church. I didn't know. He sent me a text while I was preparing to come. His name is Reverend Ben Nassara. A number of you know him. I didn't know he was part of the, uh, the people there. So after I had prayed and I, 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 I'm not sure I could see, I, I, I don't know. He just sent me a text and said, Apostle, sir, I saw you. You may not remember me, but I'm Re ben, ben Nassar. I told him I'm still a young man. I remember you clearly. God bless you, sir. If I had found you there, I would have come to greet you. That I'm a man of God, what does that change? If he doesn't discern the grace, I give him the blessing of a, a young man. Oh no, and he will carry his robe and go. If he discerns the grace more than that, then he receives the addition. Listen, if you receive a prophet as your brother, you will receive a hawk. If you receive a prophet as your colleague, you will receive gist of memories. That's a friend's reward. I was so blessed and honored. I said, oh dear, God bless you, sir. One of my teachers, when I was in secondary school, he came for a meeting sometime last year. He was a copper then. And he came and taught us physics. And he had heard about me and he came to the ministry to receive. So while I was ministering, I spotted him. I was welcoming the first person. I said, ah, how are you, sir? And he was so flattered. I called him out and honored him. I said, my God, I remember you. You know, he was a, a bit embarrassed. And I said, it doesn't matter. You can change the future, but you can't change history. Let me tell you this. I'm about to pray. And if your heart is open in this meeting tonight, within the few minutes that we have, God can shift you into levels and dimensions. It doesn't take time. It takes grace. There are pastors here who are doing amazing things for God. But my dear brothers in the ministry, can we open our heart? Take your mind away from the man. Look at the grace. That you can open up your heart to know that there is more. There is more. There is more. There is more. You may be outside sitting, but I want your heart to be open. We are going to do just three things here. We are going to pray for the sick right now. And then... I'm going to speak over our lives and then we'll do the final impartation and that will be it. Whatever price you will pay tonight is this. I'm not somebody who came from the US or UK. I'm one among you. I'm a son of the soil. And I know God did it by me because there are many of us who would never receive from any but we have our biases. But God has made it easy for us. Are we ready to pray now? Please rise upon your feet. Thank you, sirs. God bless you, sir. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. I'd like you to cry to the Lord. I don't know how you are going to do it. But you are going to cry and say, Lord, complete me. Complete me. There are dimensions that I'm grossly missing. Complete me.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to do something prophetic here, please. Um, I would like six pastors that represent different denominations, please come up here. Make sure that you are recognized by the pastor, please. Let's just do that to honor him quickly, please. Any... as a prophetic sign of speaking the unity of the church over this city. That we may be different in our understanding. I agree. We may be different in the level and the depth of revelations that we have. I agree. Our character levels may differ. I agree. Our levels of anointing may differ. I agree. I may be Catholic, Ebwa, Kokin, Anglican, Presbyterian, Pentecostal. It doesn't matter that the most important thing is the ability to look beyond our differences and see Christ. This is the first assignment tonight, that we have to speak prophetically over the city of Joss. Listen very carefully. Part of the apostolic ministry is to create spiritual order with intelligence. Are we together? Let me tell you this. Equa will never be Koking. Never. Koking will never be Anglican. Anglican will never be Catholic. Catholic will never be House on the Rock. House on the Rock will never be Presbyterian. Presbyterian will never be Baptist. It will not happen. The advocacy that one day the church will become one central denomination is witchcraft. It's a joke. It will never happen. Yet, he is still here. He, while you laugh at the Catholics, he is still there. While you laugh at the Anglican, he is still there. While you mock at Cokin, he is still there. While you laugh at Equa, he is still there. While you laugh at the Baptist, he is still there. While you laugh at the Pentecostals, he is still there. Let me tell you. When you fight the wife of any responsible man, you will hear from him. This man you are fighting is someone's wife. The name of that someone is Christ. The church you are fighting is someone's wife. And let me tell you, the Bible says jealousy is the rage of a man. You will not touch pastor's wife and have him just smile at you. God has used this man of God apostolically to speak to the church on the plateau that it is time let me tell you this I want to advise every elderly person here and I'm speaking prophetically to all the pastors remember one day we are going to die do not leave a cause in the city when you go a cause of hatred a cause of backbiting because every church you see here has come to stay the land is not anybody's personal property the earth is the Lord's Everyone pray for the church. From Reverend Akila, representing the house of the rock, right to this place. Mention the name of every church you know in this city and say, Lord, your body will stand in Joss. Are you praying? I may not speak in tongues like the Pentecostal, but that disparity is not enough reason to fight. It's not enough reason to curse. It's not enough reason to create seditions. I may not be a Baptist, but that's not enough reason to insult the dear servants of God, laboring for the kingdom. I may not be talking, but it's not enough reason to insult the dear fathers and mothers that labor in the spirit. Come on, Josh, are you praying? Lord, we decree and declare that we will never allow anyone to divide us again. We will never allow anyone to divide us again. We will never allow anyone to divide us again. The voice of prejudice, the voice of hatred, the voice of wickedness. Regardless our differences, regardless our levels. 
levels of revelation, regardless of levels of encounter. There are things to change in every church, I agree. There are character issues to solve, I agree. There are spiritual issues to solve, I agree. There are leadership issues to solve, I agree. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is the key. Hold on, sir. This is the key to driving away the plague of terrorism and death. The government can only do their best. But for as long as there is an edge broken, the serpent will keep striking. And let me tell you, don't think because your church has not yet been born, it will not happen. Don't be like Esther who was in the palace and was watching her man plot against God's people. Mordecai told her and said, if you don't do it, you will see it shift in our economy. Are we together now? Please agree with Pastor wholeheartedly while he prays. Take, take away any biases or any prejudice you have about any man of God or any sect. Or leave judgment to God. Yours is to open up your heart sincerely and pray that the church be one. In Jesus' name. Here we are, Lord, in your presence. We have heard your word. We have received instruction. The one prayer you prayed was that they might be one. Even as you and the Father are one. We pray today. Take away from us the little foxes that spoil the vine. The little disagreements that separate us from one another. The mindsets that have distanced us from each other. We stand here before you. Representing every, every altar upon which your name is mentioned. That beginning from this hour, you begin a spiritual surgery to remove the little foxes, the little misgivings, the mindsets that set us apart from each other. Father, we ask you for the error of the past, forgive us. But concerning the future that awaits us, open our eyes. Let the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. Give us light that transcends our denominational beliefs. That we might see the body as one. That when the body rises, we all rise. When one fails, we all fail. Father, may this word re resonate in the heart and the fabric of every altar in this land from this day in the name of Jesus. Such things that have plagued our lives. Hallelujah. And I speak prophetically that any man of God that comes into this city to divide the church, we speak that the spiritual gates of this city be closed over them and close over the ideologies. Any man that comes into this city to destroy another man's work, provided they stand in the name of the Lord, then we decree and declare that they are far from this city. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're ready to pray for the sick. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, sirs. I'm like a woman who just gave birth. You know how a woman feels when she just gave birth? It's a burden of the spirit. What God has done tonight, it will, it will reorient our philosophies. And you will be surprised. Please, pastors, after the service, do well to hug one another, whether you know them or not. I love you. We fought last week. 
stop my members from listening to you. It was just insecurity. It's my background. It's not the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. And develop mutual respect one for another. Honor is only worthwhile when it is mutual. You don't need to tell people you are greater than them. They are not blind. Everybody knows who is who. So you don't have to drum it on people's heads. If you have to convince people to respect you, it's a sign that something is wrong. It should be obvious. Are we ready to pray? Father, every challenge in my life is about to leave and it must leave now. Please lift your voice and pray. 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 Please pray. We're about to pray for the sick now. Those outside pray. We're together. Here at House on the Rock, God is about to work wonders in our lives. Let the fire from heaven 
bring deliverance right now. I will want you to shout that name Jesus that is above every name at the top of your voice. And I'd like you to bring all the people under the anointing here. They have to be delivered. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. I command every force. Bring them out. I command every force. Every yoke of darkness. Inside, outside. Please bring them out. In the name of Jesus. Manipulations of hell. Activities of witchcraft. Is Jesus no longer Lord over the plateau? Please bring them out. And notice enough. I decree and declare that every force and every altar that fights the progress of people and families, it comes from that judgment right now. It comes from that judgment right now. It comes from that judgment right now. I command those forces, please bring them out. There's a reason why I ask you to bring them out. I want to pray for them. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them inside, outside. In the name of Jesus, I'm still speaking that anyone's destiny here that is under siege, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free now. Be free now. Let the gates and the doors be open now. 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 Every family here that don't seem to move forward, it looks like an invisible force tying your destiny, tying your progress. I come by a rod of a higher priesthood and I declare tonight, be free right now. Be free right now. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, Worship the highest praise to the King. Muhima ka sujada. Muhima ka sujada. We lift up holy hands. The highest praise to the King. We give you worship. He's taking all disappointments. He's taking all the stress. He's taking all your fears. He's taking all limitations. You are made them yours. I give you worship. this my brothers and my sisters hear me after this conference the testimonies that will arise on this city of Jos will amaze you I tell you this by the Spirit of God you will hear families after families coming to pass and say what happened my child came for a conference we were sitting at home but God was touching us at home Listen, while you are standing here, stand in faith for your loved ones too. Some of you have sick people in the hospital. It's time to get those people out of that place. Now I declare by the Spirit of God that every force of darkness that has oppressed God's people, the legal access that you have, I command at the count of three, let God's people go. You know my voice as speak as one said. One, two, go, 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 go. Out of them now, out of their destinies, out of their lives, in the name of Jesus. Everything the devil has stolen, I command the restoration.
restoration for these families. A restoration for these families. A restoration for these families. In the name of Jesus. And I speak prophetically that between now and the end of April, let everything stolen be restored to these families. The causes of delay, the yokes of darkness, I arrest it that your academics will not move forward. You go to school and not be able to do anything reasonable. Who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not instructed it? Is it not written in your Bible that even the lawful captives shall be delivered? That I will contend with them that contend with you. Listen, I declare that any altar in Plato State holding the destiny of any man in all the local governments represented, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. I curse those altars now. I curse those altars now. there be miracles for you in the name of Jesus for all of us and for those that have come out here separated by the spirit himself you will return back into a an episode of breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ when you go back tell your loved ones you came to house on the rock and that Jesus is still alive on the plateau listen do you know what God is doing in Plateau tonight? God is using Plateau State to answer the devil that I am still alive for. In spite of what has happened, I am still the God of the Plateau. The sacrifice of the fathers will not be in vain. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Those who can return back, please return to your seat. I want to pray for the sick now. If there is any part of your body you are trusting the Lord for, please lay your hand right there, inside, outside, online, everywhere. Lay your hands, I want to pray now. If you have never seen a miracle in your life, prepare to watch one now, because Jesus is still alive. Please lay your hands quickly, let's conserve time. Mighty God. Mighty God. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Please stand for your loved ones. Stand for your loved ones. Stand for your loved ones. Some of them are in death beds. They are not here. Stand for your loved ones. There is a grace for this. I want to rebuke those devils right now. Now watch this. This is what will happen. I am going to pray and minister the healing power of Jesus. And very quickly, inside and outside, um, maybe one of the other pastors can be here to join Jaffa. As soon as I pray for you, and the power of God, I'm going to pray. When I ask you to check yourself, you will see some of you are already healed. As you check yourself, you'll find out there is a miracle. I want you to run, oh dear, uh, how do we do it? Okay, maybe here or somewhere here. We can just check them and we'll take a few testimonies and then I do the final impartation and we're there. Please, don't sit down asking, can God heal me? That's not the question. The spirit of faith, there is the gift of faith and the workings of miracles in this place. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? I want to pray for you. A lady is going to shout under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Right now. I don't know why it happens, but the Spirit of God does this. It's a sign and a wonder. A loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Now I'm ready to pray. Agree with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Come on, just in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Every devil of infirmity represented here and represented in any family here, I curse you now by the God of heaven. I curse you now by the God of heaven. The anointing, the healing anointing is touching people. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Inside, be healed now. Outside, be healed now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head. My God, my God, I send such an anointing to the soles of your feet. The Lord is healing pile. Pile. In the name of Jesus. Pile is being healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing multiple lungs. Multiple breast lungs. The Lord is healing it right now. Someone with migraine headaches. Severe pounding migraine is being healed right now. The Lord is healing hepatitis, hepatitis B. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if you broke or you cracked your leg, something around your kneecap. The power of God is touching you right now. Lower, lower around your, your lumbar vertebra. There is severe pain. Sometimes you cannot even bend. I declare be healed right now. Peptic ulcer. A number of people with ulcer are being healed right now. I command every blind eyes in this place be open now. Be open now. Every deaf ear here be open now. If you came here with a crutch or you are sitting on a wheelchair, stand up now. Stand up now. If you came with someone on a crutch or on a wheelchair, throw it away and let them stand up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone, your rib is like your rib. I don't know what you have, but it's like your rib swells, especially when it is cold. I declare be healed right now. I'm seeing an elderly man who cannot sleep. You almost cannot sleep for two hours. I don't know why that is so, but be healed now. Be healed now. Someone with heart palpitations, sometimes you pass out. You just pass out like this because of your heart condition. The Lord is healing you right now. There's a gentleman here. You stop smelling for many years. You don't have the ability to smell. Right now while I'm praying, you're going to start smelling perfumes around. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, you play football. Something happened and you fell down and sprained your hand and you've not been able to move it freely. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Be healed right now. There's someone who has an unusual mouth odor. Don't be embarrassed. It's not like you are dead, you're unhygienic. And I don't know what it is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is healing you. A severe pain around the molar. A severe pain around the molar. God is healing it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a young lady of Jesus. There is a lady, your hair is falling. Like, like a cancer patient. But, but you don't have cancer. But your hair, I mean voluminous proportions of your hair continue to fall. I declare a miracle for you right now. There's somebody here you don't see well, especially in the night. Even while I was preaching, you were not seeing me clearly. But right now, the Lord is opening your eyes. I'm seeing somebody, you have a patient in Jaquano. What they call Jaquano now? It's still Jaquano. Bingham University. Yes, you have a patient in Bingham University Teaching Hospital. There's someone lying down, I'm seeing somebody lie down there. And the power of God is touching that person right now. 
I see a lady. You are having severe pain at your right side here. It looks like symptoms of appendicitis, but I'm seeing fibroid. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is setting that person free right now. Help her, please. The Lord is setting that person free right now. The Lord is setting that person free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You vomit almost everything you eat. This is what I'm seeing. You eat and almost a, a major percentage of it is thrown out again. I declare you are healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me someone every month you must treat typhoid. Typhoid, malaria, type. It doesn't matter how many times you are treated, it will still come. I declare you are healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone's neck, I don't know what is swelling around your neck. Somewhere around here. As soon as I pray for you, that swelling will disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. The Lord is showing me an interesting case here. You didn't give birth, but you are like a lactating mother. You understand what I'm saying? You, you don't have, how do I explain this now? I'm not a doctor. But you are, you are not, you are bringing up breast milk, but you are not, you don't have a child. I'm seeing that as somebody's condition. The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Diabetes. Diabetes is being healed right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone here. Your father has arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. You are being healed right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now whether I mention your case or not. I declare be healed right now. Be healed right now. For you and your loved ones, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please, you're going to help me disgrace the devil in a few minutes here. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. You will see the kinds of miracles. Some of you are surprised now. I'll ask you to check yourself. Where are they standing, please? Who is there with them? Now, I'd like all of you to come and file and just queue up here right now check yourselves in the name of jesus the power of god is touching people don't sit back right now miracles are happening miracles are happening in the name of jesus just is this how you celebrate miracles i decree and i declare miracles are happening check yourself you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way here please let's have someone wave his hands look at people coming out i see what is happening i see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. My God, right now, hey, I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. can do the announcement they can just exchange but please no matter how long the queue is joining please sit down our elderly ones who we took their seats can you return it back let them sit down let in the name of jesus we want to use the platform of house on the rock to let the devil know that jesus is still lord praise the lord please sit down for a while and let's celebrate what god is doing keep making your way to the front yes please okay she came in with pain she had an injury I hit bone for years. I hit bone. Give her the mic. Give her the mic. How long? No, don't, don't. Just hold it. Okay, talk to us. What's your name? No, no, don't hold the mic. Just talk. I'm Jane. Is the mic working? I'm Jane, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What happened to you? I'm a sick class. Let's, let's so the leg is said they have to do hip or replacement because one leg is shorter than the other. All right, now, I happened? experience pain every time, but I'm healed. Look at this. Walk, walk, walk 
Work on both legs. Work on both legs. Jump, jump. Look at this. Amazing. One leg shorter than the other. For how long? A week now. A week now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never, never returns to you again. Quickly, please. Quickly, please. Quickly. I have very sharp pain at my molar. What's your from, name, my dear? My name is Diane. Diane, okay. For more than two weeks, no matter how short it boils, I won't be able to choose. So I right swallow now, everything. Now completely healed. Okay. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. I've been treating sore throat for over a week and it doesn't go. But me, I came here, it's gone. I can show Completely. Right now. I Never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Quickly. I had a lump remover. You had a lump? Yes. And ever since then. Hold on. So how long? No, I had a lump remover. Lump remover? Yes. Last okay. year. And ever since then, I've been having pains in this particular breast. But now I can't. Now it's gone. Yes. Completely. Yes. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Is the mic working? Okay, it's not working. My hands, like, it has been pinning me since three days. I could not even hold it very well. But immediately after he prayed, like, everything went... Completely. Lift it up and down. Any pain. Any pain. It's gone. Completely. Thank you, Jesus. Never returns to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Please fix the mic so that they can interchange. She came in with fibroid, but it disappeared. Fibroid. For how, what's your name? Hold on, please. My name is Edith. Huh? Edith. Uh, tell us about your situation. Okay, it used to be very hard here, and sometimes it's kind of painful. How long? It's been a while, like for three years now. Okay. But I just realized. And what happened? It's gone. Well, I placed Press my it. hands there. Press it. Any pain? It's not there. Any pain? No. This is exactly how the Lord is taking away the shame from every family represented here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. He came in with severe migraine. He couldn't shout, but now he's healed. Severe migraine. What do you do? I'm an engineer. You are an engineer, a mining engineer. The Lord is going to connect you to someone in Lagos. Who will lift you. Where do you work? I work in like three states, Nasarawa, Bauchi, and Abuja. Okay, go and write it down. The Lord is connecting you with someone in Lagos. And that, that connection will move you in a way that will surprise you. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, let it be so. Yes, please. He has had severe headache for three years, but instantly was healed. Gone completely. God bless you. Don't trivialize these miracles. Listen, a miracle has a message. Remember I told you, it's a reply from God to the devil through men that I am still Lord. She had severe back pain for over a year. She couldn't bend. But bend now. Was... Bend, my dear. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never, never return. Yes, please. My God, look how many miracles. There are still people coming. Quickly. I've been having severe chest pains for eight months. Chest pain. Yes, I can't talk for long. And right now? Yes, I'm okay. Breathe in and out. Gone completely. God bless you. It's gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. He was healed of severe back pain. Ah, did you know that this is Jodika's wife to be? Jodika, you will pay me for being used by God to heal your wife to be. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Tell me, my dear, what was Praise God, I've been experiencing this back pain and whatever I do with my right hand, the back begins to pay me. But while I was here, I received, after the man of God said that um, we should shout the name of Jesus, after I shouted the name of Jesus, I it. started feeling like something was just pulling from the back. And that, that was how Completely. the pain. In the name of Jesus, healed now and healed forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Careful. Yes, please. She she had this oppression. Sometimes she feels as if she will go mad. As if you go mad. Free. Where are you from? State. You are from Anambra State. Anambra State. It looks like you will go mad. The spirit is still there. I curse it now. Out! Out of her now! In the name of Jesus Christ, never to return again. 
These are things that have to do with ancestry. You see, you see this. You, you now see. And I, I'm not looking bad, but this how this how you marry a wife and go home. Now, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is that. This lady is not lying. She actually was supposed to be mad by the end of this year. She will start removing her clothes. Like that. Set her free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave. I set you free and I open up the gates of your destiny. It's gone forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Back pain for the past two weeks. God bless you in Jesus' name. He was healed of severe peptic ulcer. Victor, please. Severe peptic ulcer. Was healed. Go ahead. He was healed of peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Yes, sir. Who is a medical student here? I'm seeing a medical student here that has been having dreams of failing an exam. Uh -uh, I'm not saying you are afraid of failing an exam. You are having a real dream. I will pray against the general spirit of fear, but this is because you are the only medical student, not just in your family, like a lineage, you are the first person, a medical student. Who is that person, please? Because I'm seeing that if I don't pray for you, I'm seeing you. This person is like, I don't know if you are in your final year or something close to your final year. I'm seeing you fail a course that will keep you and bring you. You are a fair lady. Yes, that's right. That's the lady. Come. Let's cancel it now. So that the devil will not bring pain to your loved ones. In Jesus' name, be healed. Ah. Go ahead, sir. Is it working? Okay, Jaffa, you can give him yours while he was. Sir, you gave a word about someone who was playing football and had football. a problem with one. You are a gentleman. You play football. He got healed as you were praying. He right now. Check yourself. You play football professionally or just as a hobby? Just as a hobby. What do you do? I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. Hold on. I'm seeing you sit down with a drawing board, and I'm seeing you drawing structures. What do you do? Architecture. I saw the architecture. A student, you are not yet, you are not a graduate yet. Yes, sir. Where? Which school? University of Joss. University of Joss. Yes, sir. You will be a very great architect in this city. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe it? Yes, sir. Be serious with what you are doing, because yes, God will honor you, yes, sir. and God will really lift it. May the Lord yes. bless you, Amen. and honor you in Jesus' name. Need my word, please. I, I don't want to go the same way I came. Please give me my word for my life. Where are you coming? I'm from KB State. I'm from KB State. Yes, sir. Your family is there? Yes, sir. Let me tell you, my dear. You see things that are not working in your family. There is absolutely nothing that is working. Right now, they are depending on you. Yes, you sir. are the Joseph. They've told you. Yes, sir. Huh? Where's your mother? She's at home. Your mother has told you, please go and read my yes, daughter so yes. that you wipe out tears. Yes. Was I there? No. But I'm seeing a conversation between you and mama. And mama is saying, may my God bless you. I didn't have the privilege to have what you are doing. And now I'm seeing that a problem is coming in your final year. And this is a demonic thing. It's not like this lady is done. This lady loves God and she's serious. When I read, I easily forget. This is what I'm saying. Let me talk to you. Now, you will see a lovely lady like this and think she's lazy. Not everybody is failing because they are lazy. There are people that they know the pains that they are going through. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. With your power, we'll soon round up. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible And we're standing here only because My dear, don't cry, don't cry, huh? It's, it's okay, don't cry Let me tell you, you will be a source of pride to your family You will not only be a doctor You will get to the level of consultancy 
by the spirit of the living God. Father, for the sake of your mercy, there are parents here and I know they can relate to the pain of this person. No parent at all will sit down and invest so much depending on the fact that God will raise their daughters to wipe their tears. You see how wicked the devil is. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, here at House on the Rock, in the name of Jesus, show this precious lady mercy. We declare that you will excel beyond your imagination. I bless your mind in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you from the depth of my heart. Go and excel. Become the doctor that we'll all be proud of. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Apostle Sam. Yes, sir. Um, he, he's been having serious chest pain. Oh, and you're a doctor, months, so it makes it easy to... Two months ago, he went to the hospital and they said he had hypertension. That's low blood pressure. That's the other side hypotension, of hypertension. This is low, low hypo. Okay, hypotension. Hypotension. Yes, yes your that's people low. are hypertensive everywhere. Listen, the challenge that the devil is bringing now, you see a 19-year-old boy talking to himself on the road, just moving around. That's what the devil can do. Hypertension, yes. Hypotension, hypotension, yes. Blood pressure being low constantly. He's been on medication and with constant pain in his heart. What's the reach? effect of that to his health? It can damage his blood vessels. Completely. Yes. Come, sir. But the Lord has healed him tonight. The chest pain is gone. In the name of, of Jesus power God Christ. Him. Complete perfection for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take a few strategic ones. There are miracles. Oh, dear. I see my white friend standing there. You received a miracle, sir. <laughs> I see him smiling. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. Go ahead. I would like to hear what happened to him. Please permit my bias just to make him feel loved and welcome in our midst. Talk with doctor and Yes, for tonight she was also my dear. So you have some time and then you go and check yourself in the hospital. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. What happened to this woman? I want to know what happened to you. Because you've been rolling under the anointing scenes. Let's find out what exactly happened. Yes, madam. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I used to have knee pain. God healed me. Knee pain? Yeah, when I was ABU, I fell from upstairs. When you were in ABU, since then I you fell, fell from upstairs. Ah. How many years wow. ago? Over 20 years. Over 20 years. You've had this pain. Yes. And tonight, please do what I'm doing. Any pain? You were jumping. Ah, look at this. And the testimony I want to give, I've had you, my son, sent your messages to me. I, in, I'm in Jalingo. I work with the governor. Okay. Yes, my son has been sending your messages to me. And we have also planned that we must meet you in Zaria. And we came for the governor's sister's wedding yesterday. So when my son told me that you are in town, I said, I will not go you back. You said you will not go back, you will come here. I was even telling your father yesterday that please, I don't know how to meet with you. I told your father that he should. Oh, you told my dad? Yes, that he should. That somebody came from Jericho and I will be going back tomorrow. I need to see you. And God miraculously did what he wanted to see. Look at this. My son. Was the one you told out Is your here. son here? Yes. Young man, where are you? Come. You have to receive a great blessing. Ibrahim. Where is Ibrahim? Is he here? Yes, he was the person you prayed for my wife. Yeah, wife. Oh, oh, you are the one. May God bless you. May God bless you where? In the name of Jesus. God will multiply you a thousandfold in Jesus' name. God bless you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Um, we will have two more minutes for this. I'll pray generally just two more minutes. What will happen is, my God, look at look at the long line of testimonies. Are you seeing what God has done? Wow. Now, this is what will happen because we have to conserve time. Um, we'll take a few just notable ones just to praise the Lord. I'll do the final prayer and impartation. But I will want, I, I wish that there were a pastor or someone who would be able to guide these people just to have record of their testimonies or just encourage them 
to pen it down just for the purpose of um, if we can have someone like that it would be a great idea please make sure you wait on the line you may not have the opportunity to share but let me pray let me pray and let me bless you go ahead sir yes she had a lump on her breast for over a year now for over a year left. and it's gone completely you can't lie on your chest and it's gone completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit Apostle, yes. sir, you prayed for her daughter today. Oh, your the beautiful daughter. Yes. One abscess. of my seizure. adorable daughters like this. Today was her birthday. Yes, sir. Today yes. was her birthday. Uh, with absence seizure. She said, from the time you prayed for her after service, till when she came for service, there was no episode of seizure. And she yeah. wanted to give up. I prayed for this lady in the past. Pastor, you, you were there when I prayed for her. Her adorable daughter, 10 years today. And I told them to go and celebrate their birthday. And she told me, please stand up, my dear. She told me that her daughter um, would have frequent seizures, whatever that meant. That the lady maybe would just collapse or pass out or something like that. In the name of Jesus, we agree that it will never return back. Your daughter is a proper child and will grow on that wise. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay. Um, sir, he's been having low back pain. Very severe low back pain for How months long? now. Let him talk. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> no, 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 you don't give him the mic. Just hold it. When you give people mics, most times uh, they feel motivated. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it has been for a few weeks now. Uh, very severe, but it has actually uh, I have something I've been struggling with for years. But this uh, time it has been. Right now, what happened to you? Uh, it's just. Completely. Like, not completely, but it's has improved. Uh, it's improved. Can I pray for you? Yes, please. You actually also prayed for my wife earlier about the baroness. Your wife is what? The wife and all that was here. I prayed for your wife. Yeah. Eight years. Eight oh, it was your wife. I see. Make sure you do inform us where she is. <laughs> so that we come and share with joy. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Perfection for your body, perfection for your back, in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Yes, please. Oh, there, the mic does. Okay, go ahead. sorry. Uh, she's been healed. She came here with the pains, actually. She's been having migraine, migraine. recurrent for four years. Four years. And she came here with the pains. While you were praying, the pain left completely. Just disappeared. It's gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please, quickly. Anyone, you are here for your testimony too? Just come, just come. Let me, I'm not sure I know what is wrong with her. Hepatitis, she she used the Hepatitis. Uh, well, she would need to test herself. Hepatitis is something that you have to be verified medically. But I'm sure she's she said all the symptoms, symptoms, yes. So you take some time and check yourself. In the name of Jesus, be perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Same thing, hepatitis, come. The Lord perfect you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we have, uh, let's see, we have to stop somewhere, please. Okay, um, this child was born with spinal bifida. Oh my God. Yes. What and uh, what does he's that been mean? on pampas. What does that mean? It's a congenital anomaly. Okay. okay. That a child can be born with, and it comes with different complications, um, especially with the lower side of the spinal cord. So okay. he's always on pampas. That means he doesn't have much control over that. While you were praying, uh, the power of God came upon him. He started acting and shouting. So the mother said she believed that God has touched the child. Hmm. Young man, how are you? Come, you're my friend. What's your name? Charles. What? Charles. Charles, you love Jesus? Adorable. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. When children run away from you, you need deliverance. Because the Bible said, let the little children come. No, 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 no. I'm not being sarcastic. When children run away from you, there must be something pungent about your spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect this our little one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. The month of April, God is visiting you financially. This has been your prayer. Even when you sat down there, you were praying that God solve this our financial problem. Is that true? I'm hearing your prayer and God is saying, I should tell you, what month did I mention now? 
April, this April that we're entering, God will visit you. Don't doubt him. Thank you. From tomorrow morning, that's true. <laughs> God bless you. That's your sister's birthday. Tell her happy birthday. Go ahead. Two or three people. With severe migraine, she has had it for two years. Severe she migraine, great. she was healed tonight. Oh, my dear, in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's just have one or two more people and then we're done. One or two more people, please. If you're coming together, come, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, he was healed of back pain, he has had for over three years. Back pain for years now. You love Jesus, yes, sir. There are two bad friends in your life. Huh? Very bad friends. But let me tell you, love is a command, but relationship is not. You, you can choose your friends. Don't be embarrassed. I don't mean to embarrass you. Are we together? Yes. You think about what I'm saying. You love God, but the fear of losing relationship. There, there's no such thing as we're in the same primary school. Anybody who is not going where you are going, you don't have to hate them, but you can keep them at bay. Are we together? Do not be deceived. The Bible says that bad company can corrupt good morals. Are we together? May the Lord bless you and perfect you in Jesus' name. Okay? This will be the last and then I'll pray for all of you. Oh dear, that lady is pressed but I apologize. Oh dear. This is from the hospital. What's, what's, what's wrong with her? Her intestines are perforated. Ah. Uh, intestines. Are perforated. Yes. She came from where? From the hospital. We have to pick her and bring her. You picked her and brought her? Yes, but she came here because of the exam we talked about, the medical student. You are a medical student? School of nursing. School of nursing. Okay, school of nursing. She's been having dreams of failing exams. And now you have perforated intestines. And you have exams coming. And you may not be able to write because you are sick. You've left several schools because of it. So you go and you fall sick. They will and ask now you're to leave this school. They will then ask me to leave this school. No, they are not bad people. They are just being sincere. Don't don't be angry with them. You're her sister? You're a friend. You don't know her. A friend in Christ. You're a good lady. May God are you married? I would have said, May God give you a good husband. These, these are the kind of godly ladies that I pray that God continues to give people in Joss. Brothers, you will not marry a wicked woman. Sisters, you will not marry a foolish man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that's all right. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let's, let's agree. We are praying for this dear lady. You can see that this lady has perforated intestines. And if God does not help her, this is almost like a death sentence. For this cause, many are weak. Thank God for the body of Christ and its ability to salvage her. My dear, I speak to you in the name of Jesus that you are healed from the crown of your head and to the soles of your feet be perfected right now and you will finish your program and God will honor you in the name of Jesus and for you her friend may God bless you in Jesus name now for everyone standing so many people I know that there are a lot of people online that would have been healed I decree and declare that your healing is permanent <laughs> pastor is requesting that after the service, it is possible for you to, um, it is possible, you can just wait very briefly and then someone will attend to you and give you an opportunity to just pen down your testimony very quickly so that they can just have it and follow up on you. Will that be fine? Praise the Lord. May the Lord honor you in Jesus name. I think you can return to your seat. Let's round up.
In five minutes or so, we'll be done. Two things will happen now, and I drop the mic. Please, I want you to pay attention. The first thing that will happen is, I want to speak and prophesy over our lives. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. It's a scripture that God gave me. I always say that this is the most powerful part of the service. As charismatic as everything that happened is, the most powerful part is where a prophetic word comes to bless you. There are two realms and two dimensions, please listen, of the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic where God specifically gives you words and the goal is to build your faith and to give you guidance. But the highest dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of the prophetic where you not only inform people about what will happen, you make it happen. Things that have no business happening in the lives of men created by the power of God. Never forget this scripture. Please give it to us. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. 14. We're reading verse 14. I'd like us to read together in concert as we open up our hearts to receive this prophecy. One, two, read. And the elders of the Jew builded and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo, and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. Just stop there. Please keep the scripture up. The men built, but they prospered through the prophesying of prophets. While they were building, their prosperity was tied to the speakings of the men of God. It's one thing to build, it's one thing to prosper, it's one thing to finish. You can build and build in vain, but you can prosper when God speaks upon you. When Jesus was born, the word of God, he was taken to a temple and he made two strange prophets. Simeon lifted him up and spoke and, and blessed him, and one Anna the prophetess who had been interceding for his arrival for 60 years. I believe that this is where God supernaturally intervenes over lives, over families. I may not have mentioned your case uniquely. You may not have been called here and ministered to personally, but this is where your faith can receive anything at all. Praise the Lord. You believe that? And then we'll stand and also speak over the city of Joss and command the city of Joss to hear the word of the Lord, even for the new season. Please can we rise. It's a conference by the Spirit of the Lord that you will not remember, you will not forget in a hurry. bring them out in the name of Jesus every dimension of grace that you have seen here especially if you are a man of God dimensions of the spirit I stand by the privilege of the election of grace the calling of God and I declare that those anointings those graces those wells right now I declare, I stretch my hands. Let it begin to fall on you. Receive it right now. Wherever you are, the spirit of prophecy, the grace for the prophetic, superior dimensions, the eyes that see and the ears that hear, the eyes of an eagle, I declare, let it come upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it come upon you now. I pray that the spirit of revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom. There are some persons receiving that grace right now. I stir up that fire. I stir up that grace. 
in the name of Jesus Christ the healing grace you have seen the healing power of God here there are some you have seen it in a measure but in the name of Jesus and in multiplied dimensions let there be a supply of that dimension help that mama please in the name of Jesus Christ a supply of that dimension in the name of Jesus please help that woman out there I decree and I declare I'm still praying for you everything that is missing in your life that you have prayed for restoration and it has refused to come in Jesus name I call it back right now the grace for miracles signs wonders superior dimensions of the workings of the spirit both for men and women receive it right now I pray for ladies here the spirit of Deborah that spirit of prophetic revival I stretch my hands inside and outside may that grace fall upon you right now may that grace fall upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every grounded church here you have done your best to trust God for increase numerically and in impact in the name of Jesus we give life to every dead or dying church here now by the power of the Holy Spirit The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. There are times that you don't have the influence required to speak at the gates. You will need someone already at the gates to advocate for you. I call the helpers of your destiny. Wherever they are, I speak to the north, the south, the east and the west of this nation. I call them into your life now. project that is ongoing in your life whether a construction project whatever it is and it has lingered it has refused to be completed I release the finishers anointing in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you can I pray for your finances it is true that there are principles listen there are three dimensions of wealth. The first level of wealth is called transactional wealth. Wealth that happens in exchange for turning your value to products and services and selling them with excellence. The second dimension of wealth is called transformational wealth. Wealth that comes to you by reason of the impact that you make in other lives. The last dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. For there can be a raven that can come and feed Elijah at Brook Cherith. I stand and I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, the yoke of hardship and financial struggle by the God of heaven, let it be broken right now. Let there be a release of supernatural financial supplies for your comfort and for the advancement of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I pray for Joss Joss hear the word of the Lord the spirit that brings bloodshed upon the borders of this city we speak from local government to local government or at hear the word of the Lord we speak that you arise and judge the perpetrators of evil in the name of Jesus Christ whether they be foreigners or they be people within the territory, we sanitize this territory by the hand of God. 
I speak and I declare the spirit of advancement and development upon this city. We are tracked by the spirit, the presence of strategic investors, business persons who will come in the name of Jesus and turn the economy of this city around. In the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that the sons and the daughters of the soil will no longer be jobless graduates without jobs we place you by the spirit to strategic positions around this nation in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life I don't know what happened to you your passion for God gone down prayer life gone down right now let there be a resurrection let there be a resurrection of your passion for God the grace for prayer, receive it. The grace for fasting, receive it. Passion for the word, receive it. Tonight, I break every addiction. Every addiction that plagues your Christian experience and continues to mock your Christian integrity. Today you are this way, tomorrow you are this way. May that power be broken now. And I pray for every member of this church, House on the Rock, Joss. You are the donkey that Christ climbed upon to minister to this city. I declare, let it be for you from glory to glory to glory to glory. And by the privilege of God's grace, I speak over this church. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, we speak to the spiritual borders of this ministry. According to Ezekiel chapter 47 let there be an expansion in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man of God represented here and every work and labor of the spirit that they are involved in let there be increase let there be a consolation to your labor in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray by the spirit that the fruits and the testimonies and the results from this conference will speak in this church, in this region, and in this city for a very long time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I decree and declare, even by the Spirit of God, and I'm speaking to Joss. Joss, you are like that rejected stone. You are like Nathaniel speaking about Jesus that can anything good come out of Nazareth it's a city that suffered so long since the burning down of the main market it's a blow that the state is, is yet to recover from but we declare in the name of Jesus by the power of light Genesis chapter 1 and God said let there be light therefore just I declare light be light be in business light be for the students represented here light be for the professionals and career people light be for our children here light be for the ministers of the gospel light be for every family represented here light be. hello Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.